All right. What we're going to be doing today is replacing a heater control valve on a Ford Ranger. It's a 4.0 um, liter engine. And this is my papa's truck. And um, dad bought it after papa died. And it's uh, been running. It's 2007 model, I believe. But um, this ain't going to be a, a def necessarily a how-to video. It's just how I'm going to do it. And um, I already cracked the, took the radiator cap off and relieved the pressure out of it. And uh, should be pretty easy fix, but a lot of times my easy fixes don't turn out too easy. So we'll see how it goes. This end's got a little clip back there. Can I get it moved out of the way? And then try to get the clamp off. Now this little tube, I'm not exactly sure if it just, yep, just pops out. I guess that's like a little vacuum tube. And pull your hose off. This had been leaking right around this actuator shaft. It wasn't bad, but he noticed it had been dripping. And it's leaking right around this uh, little shaft right here where it works the valve. And... Pop the old one on. Turn the same way. Need a pair of channel locks to do these things. Seat them clamps back right back where they was. Well, I can see if I got a pair of channel locks. Hooker line there. Okay. Don't know if that's right. Feels like it's in there now. So, we'll put a radiator cap back on and crank it up and see what it does. See if it works and see if the actuator moves. Get some towels and dry it up a little before we do. Hopefully y'all don't fall off her. Heat 
heat's on. Actuator move. It's got an arrow on there showing the, the flow on this thing is coming in this way on this. I hopefully put it on right that's the way that uh, the old one come off and I would assume the valve would be on the inlet uh, side of your heater port I don't know that for a fact I don't know the vehicle mechanic but uh, that's just my logic we'll let it run here a little bit and see if we get any heat blow yeah the flow on this one's the same you see the arrow pointing that way that's why we put the other one on. I guess it'd been smart to look at that to begin with, but you know how I am. I tell you, while we're letting this thing warm up, I put off and put off and put off getting a Facebook account. Finally, about the time I started this YouTube, about a week or so later. Well, yeah, maybe two weeks after I started YouTube, I decided, well, I'll start me a Facebook. Tiffany and the boys, they go on the trips down there for uh, Snowball Express, Children of the Fallen Soldiers events, and go to one in the summer and stuff. And they post pictures and things on Facebook a lot, and I've not been able to keep up with them. People ask me, you know, have you seen this, have you seen that? And, well, I haven't, because I'm not on Facebook, so. I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and do it. Well, last night, I got hacked, and sent it sent some inappropriate stuff to a lot of my uh, friends on Facebook. It was embarrassing, I swear. Makes you wonder why you even fool with these things. Uh, I don't know why people want to try to mess your life up, but... Luckily, I, people started messaging me right away saying they was getting this, getting that, and I checked it out and uh, run a scan. It was out of Atlanta, Georgia, uh, where the hack was from and, and everything, but uh, that just that, that really, really, really bothered me. I, I know it happened to people. Tiffany assured me that people would understand and, and everything, but uh, I try to be a a good example as a, as a school teacher and bus driver and a deacon of the church and when something like that happens it just makes me feel feel awful and not knowing what people was thinking how they were going to react when they saw it and everything but uh, I just hope that don't happen again hope it don't happen to any of you all and uh, just just be careful with what you do I, I mean I'm I'm pretty dumb on this stuff uh, Tiffany shared with me some things I could do to my wife there to prevent these things from happening and, and ways that you get these uh, hacks and stuff that I had no clue about and uh, but I just uh, anyway, anyways just want to let y'all know that and then she's going to kill me for telling this but this we had a mouse in the house this morning or a cat Bell, she stays in the house one of them and uh, she she got one in the in our bathroom come out from under the uh, kitchen cabinet or not the kitchen cabinet the bathroom cabinet van well me and Hayden and Clayton was up 5 20 5 30 this morning moving furniture tearing things down moving stoves it got in there it traveled through the house as we was chasing it finally got it and killed it but I'm telling you it between last night and getting hacked and this morning with that thing, we had a night. I didn't sleep last night, just worrying and, and everything. But uh, it was eventful this morning, that's for sure. <laughs> about, I have to leave for work at 6.30 and I didn't get in the shower till 6.05, but I made it. And uh, it uh, it was some, some experience, that's for sure. Let's see if this thing's putting out any heat. Looks like it's getting dry. Might have 
help if I had it on the van up here where I could tell. Oh yeah, putting out good heat. Y'all feel that? See how warm it is? Yep, believe that's got her took care of. Well, y'all have a good good day and evening, whatever it is when you watch this. And uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, thank y'all for all that you do watching and, and the comments people leave and and stuff. I like the comments. I enjoy uh, getting them and see what people think. See anything I can do to improve, change, uh, put it on there. I'll look at it, consider it. Might do it, might not. But uh, if it's something y'all want, I'll try to. And uh, uh, just thank you again. Oh, one last thing. Here's Rugsby. You want to say hi, Rugsby? Say hi, Rugsby. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube, Rugsby. Say hi to YouTube.